off, my name is Abdelaziz Al-Mullah. I'm uh, the co-founder of Madar Farms. We're an agri-tech uh, company looking to address water and food security in the region. Less than 5% of land in the GCC is arable or cropland. It's actually less than 1% in the UAE. Despite that, we use over 50% of water for agriculture, over 80% for agriculture and irrigation. It costs us over $200 billion a year as a region, and it contributes less than 1% of the GDP. We're going to run out of water in the next 25 years. Something doesn't add up. So we started to figure out how can we really address this in a new way. Conventional farming is broken and we need to come up with something new. That's why we founded Madar Farms. Uh, we've come up with two solutions. Uh, first one is our container farms. These are shipping containers, recycled shipping containers, where we build complete farms inside that container. In 320 square feet, we can deploy it anywhere we want. Uh, we can grow a variety of vegetables. Uh, as long as we plug it with water and electricity, we're set to go within 24 hours. Uh, we control and remote monitor everything by a central computer. All external environments such as O2, CO2, temperature, humidity, I mean you name it. We control it remotely through an algorithm. We try to take the guesswork out of farming. Uh, our produce is all natural, non-insecticide, non-pesticide, GMO free. Um, we can grow 365 days a year. Um, and we can guarantee the same quantity and the same quality because we hack the process through the remote monitoring. Our long-term vision is very much to address food self-sustainability in the region. We'd like to make the region food self-sustainable and start with the UAE by 2025. So that includes not only a mix of foods across the entire nutritional profile, but also scale output. So over the next year, year and a half, two years, we are building our container network, not only ourselves, but we'd like to make the technology available to anyone who's interested. While we do that, we'll educate the market, we'll raise the awareness of the issues that we need to. And in the long run, we'd like to launch a techno farm. This is a massive plant factory, if you will, that's run by robots, which allows us to scale output to three tons a day. This is where we can really start to address national level output. And I think uh, education is the biggest one. Uh, there's still a lack of awareness a little bit about some of the challenges that we're facing. I think everyone knows we have a food security or water security problem. I don't think the realization of the scale and the imminence of the problem has really sunk in. Or really the benefits of hydroponic farming or the kind of package that we're bringing forward. So I think education is our, is our biggest challenge that we're facing. We've been working with some wonderful partners to get over that. We're creating some educational programs both at the high school level, the university level, and some public awareness campaigns that hopefully we'll be able to get over that hump in the near to medium term. Thank <laughs> you.